And what's quite interesting is the candy cane, which is another German never, invention. I didn't know that. I've yes. never known where the candy cane came from. Well, supposedly, according to folklore, in 1670, in Cologne, Germany, the choir master at the Cologne Cathedral... Really? Wish, ...wishing to remedy the noise caused by children in his church during the live Kresch tradition of Christmas Eve... Asked a local candy maker for some sweet sticks for them. <laughs> in order to justify the practice of giving candy to children during worship services, he asked the candy maker to add a crook to the top of each stick, which would help children remember the shepherds who visit the infant Jesus. Really? <laughs> so, and then, and then it goes on about how these, you know, the tradition develops, and he start learning how to mass produce it, and so on. And and then the Bunt Brothers got involved in the United States, McCormick Candy, then which eventually became Bob's, which is the largest producer of candy canes now in the world. But what also is pretty interesting is that there was a Roman Catholic priest who in 1957 <laughs> patented his invention called the Keller machine. He was, his name was Keller. That basically automated the process of twisting soft candy into spiral striping and cutting it into precise length as candy canes. So well, you know, <laughs> it's very interesting because we can criticize all the different entrepreneurs who commercialize Christmas, but when you look at the food traditions, what you realize it's those efforts that have really made a huge contribution to bringing the price down. Absolutely. Right. So, I, I mean, you could argue that so much of economic history is about making abundant what was scarce. Right. And, um, yeah, we've done a pretty good job of it.